Okay, so welcome to this discussion on integral calculus in which our topic for this video is about transformation. Let's try this one here. Transformation uh, by trigonometric trigonometric formulas no? or identities okay. so this is a very useful way of um, of integrating integrals especially those integrals who uh, involve so or um, made up of um, trigonometric functions so sine cosine tangent uh, second to second and cotangent no so for this one we will use the trigonometric identities in order to integrate those types of integral so for this one we have four types no we will discuss each type and we will try to solve also examples involving each of those types of integral so first we will have type one no okay so we have type one so type one of these types of integral is uh, given by the by the general uh, integral or general formula of sine to the m x cosine to the n x dx. No, this is the integral wherein no where either m or n just n no? up into my pen no? uh, either m or n is a positive add integer okay so type 1 it is given by the general formula or general integral of sine to the mx cosine to the nx dx where either your m or n so those are the um, power no, or the degree of our trigonometric function so m or n is a positive add integer or the degree is a positive add integer when we say add so that is um, uh, add is uh, 1 3 um, 1 3 5 7 so not divisible by 2 so that is add then positive so it is positive so if that is the case if our integral will be like that so we will use the the trigonometric identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1 so this is also known as the as the other um, other um, um, identity for Pythagorean theorem or the Pythagorean identity so we could manipulate this one using algebra so we could say that cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x so of course algebra just uh, transpose our sine squared to this side of the equation so that's why it will become negative or we could have also that one in terms of sine sine squared x we will have 1 minus cosine squared x so if this is the case so we need just to have our given integral no or the given integral this one here the general formula we need just to extract the cosine or the sine squared or the um, uh, the sine function or the cosine function which uh, which is raised to 2 we need just to extract one of that no so that we could um, apply this trigonometric identity so that is for type 1 no so for example okay, we will have an example here okay, we could have let's see okay, so we have here let me erase this first no that we could have a space to write our example okay so we have okay. Okay. so we have integral of sine squared x cosine cube x dx okay so for this one first we need to see if we have a degree no? or our n or m is a positive add integer no so for this one the n is the n is the degree of our cosine 
So it is 3. The M is the degree for sine 2. So we could, uh, this is M. No. We could say that our N is a positive, positive odd integer. So therefore, we will apply the trigonometric function for the cosine. So we'll have that one, so sine squared. So let's copy first the given cosine, cosine cube x dx. So we'll extract cosine, no? cosine squared from our uh, from our cosine cube, no? or cosine to the power of 3. No? So we will have that one as sine squared x, cosine squared x, cosine x dx. So the cosine x dx is coming from this cosine cube because we extract the squared. Then we will apply trigonometric identity. So we will have sine squared x, then th that would be 1 minus sine squared x, no? This is the identity for cosine squared. Then we have cosine x dx. Then we'll just um, multiply no? each of these terms here, the sine squared and the cosine x dx to each of the term inside. So we'll end up with integral of sine squared x times 1 times cosine x dx. So we will have sine squared x cosine x dx then we just um, have that one in terms of two separate integrals no so we have the next one is sine to the fourth x cosine squared times sine squared so the negative uh, sign is here no then we have cosine x dx okay so now we will integrate this one by inspection you could see that this is just the first and the the first term and this term is just a um, power formula no power formula so for this one our n is equal to 2 this one n is equal to 4 our u is sine x no same with this one u is equal to sine x and our du so the derivative of sine x that will be cosine x dx then this is also du cosine x dx so checking that one we have the cosine x dx here for this term and we have also the cosine x dx for uh, this uh, this condition here so we could now use our power formula no? so we could now have this one just erase this one here so we could now have the integral of sine squared x cosine cube x dx is equal to um, we have that is sine squared no sine x then our n or our exponent is 2 then plus 1 so n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus sine that is sine to the fourth no so we have sine raised to the power of four then we have plus one so n plus one four plus one so this is not n but that is uh, two no? because that is u to the n plus one over n plus one no? that is the formula for power formula so this is two so we will have sine cube x over three minus sine to the pif no? sine pif x over 5 then we will have this one plus c so you could write also you could extract the function no? or the fraction for this one so you could write that one as one third sine cube x minus one pif sin, sine to the p uh, to the power of 5 x plus c and this is now your answer no then we will proceed now to type 2 no type 2 okay type 2 okay, i will just change first my layout of, uh, of my slide here okay so type 2 so let's have a color maybe yellow huh? type 2 
Okay, so type 2, the general formula for type 2, general integral for type 2 is tangent to the n x dx or cotangent to the n x dx. The condition for this one, your n, no, where n is an integer. So it is an integer. It is a number, no? Integer. So if this is the case, we could use the the trigonometric identity of tangent. Maybe we will have this one in another color, no? Okay. So tangent squared x plus one is equal to second squared x, or we could. Um, have this one in terms of tangent squared. So tangent squared x is equal to second squared x minus 1. Okay. If that is for tangent. For cotangent, so we have cotangent squared x plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared x. So if you are going to have this one in terms of cotangent, so cotangent squared x is equals to cosecant squared x minus 1. So those are the trigonometric identity that we are going to use for type 2. So now I will solve some example, no? an example for this one. Okay, so we have uh, example. Okay, so we have here tangent to the fourth x dx no so the very first thing to do is to um, separate or to break our given integral uh, tangent into tangent squared if that is if the given is cosine uh, cotangent squared then you break that one into uh, if the given integral is cotangent then you break that one into cotangent squared no so this one we have tangent to the fourth so solution okay so we just break that one into tangent squared, no? Tangent to the fourth x dx is equal to tangent squared x times tangent squared x dx. Then you apply the trigonometric identity, no? Either of the two, no? Either of the two. So you have tangent squared x. So we'll just apply uh, the identity in this um, tangent squared. So we have second squared x minus 1 dx. No? Then you will have now uh, just distribute this one. So we will have tangent squared x second squared x minus tangent squared x will be dx then we will have so we also break this one no? this one so we have integral of um, tangent squared x second squared x then we just um, have this one the dx no separately no? we just um, distribute no or um, separate our integral into two terms no this what this term here and this term this side no we have tangent squared x dx then after that we will just apply a trigonometric identity for this one okay so let's just let me correct first my integral sign no? looks like an s okay so we have integral of tangent squared x second squared x dx minus integral of one second squared x minus 1 dx okay then we'll just uh, continue this one no? we we'll just also also separate this uh, this integral here into two terms okay we'll do, do, do that one on the other slide okay so we have so the integral of tangent to the fourth x dx no so we have here integral of um, tangent squared x second squared x dx minus so that will be the integral of second squared 
x dx then as you can see in this slide here no so this is negative times negative so that will be positive so we have plus integral of dx no or positive dx so we have plus integral dx okay so what is the next thing to do is to apply our um, knowledge of integration no so for this one this is power formula this is trigonometric integration and we have here a uh, simple no simple yeah, integral of a function of a variable so here our n here is equal to 2 no then our u is tangent then the derivative of tangent is second squared x dx so we have here our second squared x dx so we could go directly to the power formula that will be u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 so tangent x then our n is 2 so that will be 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 uh, minus the integral of second squared x that will be tangent x then the integral of dx so that will be plus x no then we just simplify this one or uh, this one we will this one before we will put our c so that we, we will have now tangent cube x over 3 minus tangent tangent x plus x plus c and this is now our answer okay okay so now we will go to type 3 no? type 3 so we'll have that one on another page here another slide okay so type 3 okay. so type 3 is given with the form um, integral of tangent to the m x second to the n x dx or we could have also that one in terms of cotangent and um, cotangent and cosecant, no? So we have cotangent m to the x cosecant n x dx, no? Okay. So if that will be the the uh, the integral, the, the given integral. So in order to apply the trigonometric identities for this type of integral so our n no our n where n is a positive okay even integer so what do you mean by a positive even integer so positive so it is not negative but positive even is if the given uh, value of n or the 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 degree of our second and this one cosecant is divisible by two no so if that is the case then you could now um, apply no apply the identity that uh, second squared x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. The same one we use for this one here. No? This one. No? Okay. So we will use this identity. No? Okay. So let's have an example for this one. No? So we have integral of tangent squared x second to the 4 x dx okay so we need to first inspect if our n is a positive even integer so for the n is the degree of our second no because we are given with tan tangent and second so this will be this one this general formula for the integral so our n is equal to our n we have this one in this one pink no? or pitch n is equal to 4 and it is a positive even integer no 
positive ev even integer. Okay. So we will have this one now. So we will we will need to divide no? or to to separate the second squared of this uh, second the fourth no we need to separate that one. So we will have tangent squared x second to the fourth x dx. So that will be equal to tangent squared x second squared x then we have second squared x dx then we apply the identity so we'll have second squared x so this will be 1 plus tangent squared x dx then we will distribute no the tangent squared second squared to each of the term here including the dx so we will have tangent squared x second squared x uh, dx so that is 1 times this 1 plus so tangent squared time times tangent squared will be tangent to the fourth x second squared x dx okay and the inspection this will just be a simple power formula wherein our u is tangent no tangent x and the derivative of tangent x is second squared x dx we have second squared x dx this one also second squared x dx the only difference is our n for this term here the n is equal to 2 for this one the n is equal to 4 so we will have this one as tangent x so that will be u to the n so that will be 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 this one plus tangent x so u to the n so our n for this term is 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 then we, we will simplify this one before we add our um, c no so this will be tangent cube no 2 plus 1 over 3 tangent to the p x over 3 so our final answer will now become or will be tan uh, integral of tangent uh, where's the given here tangent squared x second to the fourth x dx so this will be equal to tangent cube x over 3 plus tangent no? x with the power of 5 plus c if you want to extract your fraction so we could have that one as one third tangent x raised to the power of 3 plus 1 pif tangent x raised to the power of 5 plus c and this will be your answer okay so we now we go to the last type no? the last type for uh, this um, integration no, by transformation using the trigonometric formulas so we have here type 4 no, the last type okay so type 4 so the formula for type 4 or the um, general formula is given by this one no? tangent to the mx then we have second to the n x dx or we could have also oh no this is not well, this is type 3 no? okay, type 3 okay, so sorry for that no? so we will just um, write this one no? so we will now have um, the type 4 no? the actual type 4 so sorry for that one no? I was um, uh, lost no? on my copy here of the general um, integral no? so the type 4 so it is sine to the m x cosine to the x cosine to the n x dx no where the condition is where both n uh, m and n are positive no are positive even integers 
no? So basically this is like type 1, no? Type 1, but the given integral, no? Or the or the m and n so, so in the type 1 the n and m or either n or n of the given integral must be a positive add integer therefore we could use that transformation but for this one the condition is that both m and n are positive even integer so if that happens we could not use the um, identity for um, type 1 but we will have another identity no we will have the double angle and the half angle theorem no so we will have this one the first identity we have sine x is equals to one half uh, 1 minus cosine 2x no? this is the double angle for cosine squared x we'll have 1 half 1 plus cosine 2x then we have also the uh, sine x cosine x that will be equal to 1 half sine 2x so these are the identities that we are going to use Okay, so for this one, we must almost, uh, we, wa we must simplify or uh, have some algebraic manipulation of our given integral so that we could come up with this um, identity or with this um, uh, cryogrammetric functions that we could use the, uh, the equivalent identity. No? Okay, so we just have an example here to illustrate how to solve this type of integrals no so we have here the integral of sine to the fourth theta no cosine to the fourth theta d theta no for this one our variable is theta so this is the in the, the function is in terms of theta no so the very first thing to do for us is to Let's just check first. I believe this is not to the fourth. Okay, cosine squared. Sorry for that one. Huh? This is cosine squared. Okay. Of course, we could also solve that one, but to have uh, to make use of the time. No, we have. So we just have this one. No. Okay. So solution. First, we will extract the sine squared. No, for sine to the fourth. Okay. So we have sine theta. And assign to the fourth theta, we just copy first the given. No? Cosine squared theta d theta. So this will be equal to sine squared theta. Then we have another sine squared theta, cosine squared theta d theta. Then we will have, so we just pair the, sec the sine squared and the cosine squared. So we have sine squared theta cosine squared theta sine squared theta so we just uh, rearrange that one then by the identity no so in using our identity sine x cosine x it is one half sine uh, sine uh, sine squared no sine squared x no because they are both squared here so we could just write that one as integral of uh, one half sine two theta squared. Now the identity for this one. So from this one, the sine squared that is one half quantity one minus cosine two x. So we could also have this one here as one half. So we just have that one in bracket, no? 1 minus, so this is sine squared, so cosine 2 theta, no? D, I uh, will just have the bracket here, D theta. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just to square our 1 half, so we will end up with 1 fourth. This will be sine squared 2 theta, then we will have times. Okay, so we will have here another bracket, 1 half, 1 minus cosine 2 theta, uh, this is d theta, then 1 half times 1 fourth, that will be 1 eighth, because it is constant, we just uh, put that 1 outside our integral sign, no? 
Then you will have sine squared theta 1 minus cosine. Okay, I believe you have a 2 here. No? So for that one, this will be 2 theta. Okay. Sine squared 2 theta. Okay. So it will be 2 theta. This will be 2 theta. Okay. This will be cosine 2 theta. Then d theta. Okay. Then you will uh, distribute this one no? to each of the terms inside this parenthesis so, or the terms of 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Okay, so we have that one on another slide. Okay, so we have the integral of sine to the 4th theta cosine squared theta d theta is equal to 1 8 integral of sine squared 2 theta minus sine squared 2 theta cosine 2 theta d theta okay then you just um, separate this one into uh, two integrals no so we have one eight integral of sine squared theta a uh, two theta d theta minus one eight sine squared two theta cosine 2 theta d theta okay so this one this will just be a power formula no our u here is so just put here no our u here is sine 2 theta our du is a 2 cosine 2 theta d theta so as you can see we lack no, on our du no? so our n here is equal to 2 for this one of course we could just also um, we could also use an, again another identity here no? okay so that this one will become 1 8 integral of 1 half 1 minus so again another cosine cosine 4 no because double angle, so this is 2. If you will double that one, that will be 4. 2 theta d theta. No? So we just factor out our uh, 1 half here. No? That will be 116. No? 1 half times 1 eighth is 116. Integral of 1 minus cosine 4 theta. Then we have here d theta. Then we will have minus for this term 1 8 because we lack 2 no? because we need to have 2 cosine theta we have all here the, on our integral only cosine 2 theta so we need to multiply that 1 by the reciprocal so 1 half integral of sine squared 2 theta cosine 2 theta of course we'll put here 2 no? 2 d theta we'll just write that one here below no okay. we have no space no it will be 2 d theta okay so we will now um, we will now integrate this one no so this one this will become 1 over 16 so we'll just um, separate this integral also into two terms d theta minus that will be 1 over 16 integral of cosine 4 theta d theta this one will be 116 no? also 116 let's see if we don't miss any sign here so this will be 116 no? so we have 1 over 16 then this our u here is uh, our n is 2 so that will be sine 2 theta we have okay okay so we'll just repeat this one no, because my computer just crashed no, my powerpoint um, um, slide no crushed no? so uh, we managed to retrieve you know this part of the solution 
so we just continue that one so we just finish this one here so using the um, identity so that will be one half one minus cosine for theta na? d theta and this will be equal to minus one eighth integral of sine squared of course we need to div uh, multiply this one by one half no one half integral of sine squared 2 theta cosine 2 theta then you will have that one 2 d theta so this will be 116 then we just separate that one that will be d theta then minus again another 116 integral of cosine for theta d theta and we have minus 1 over 16 then this is just power formula then we will have here sine um, tet 2 theta raised to the power of 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 okay continue this one to another slide okay so our given integral is sine to the fourth no theta uh, cosine squared theta d theta so we will now have 1 over 16 integral of d theta minus 1 over 16 integral of cosine for theta d theta minus if we're going to simplify this one that is sine cube sine to theta is the power of 3 over 3 no? so we have 116 sine 2 theta raised to the power of 3 all over 3 so you have 1 6 times 1 third that will be uh, 148 no? that will be that will be 48 no? so we have this one the integral of d theta is just theta so we have 116 theta minus so we have here 116 then the our u here is 4 theta so our du must be 4 d theta but we don't have any 4 on our given so we just multiply here with the reciprocal of what is lacking then we will have this one as cosine 2 theta 4 uh, no not 2 theta but cosine 4 theta times 2 d theta no? okay then we have minus 1 over 48 1 over 48 1 over 48 sine cube 2 theta no then what is the integral of cosine so the integral of cosine is positive sine no? so we will now have here 1 over 16 theta minus so 116 over a uh, times 1 fourth that will be 64 no 1 over 64 so that will be sine 4 theta minus 1 over 48 sine cube 2 theta plus c okay and this will be now is the answer or the integ the equivalent um, integral for this one this is now the answer for the integral of sine to the fourth theta cosine squared theta d theta no uh, of course the solution is longer but by using the identity no? using this identity we have managed to get our answer okay so i hope you understand something in this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning